Hey everyone, welcome back to Ify Warrior and welcome back to our 30 day five minute challenge. Today is day 12 and for our workout we're going to be doing isometrics again. I'm going to be using a tree but you really can just use a, like a door frame, something you can grip onto. We'll be switching hands both sides so you want to be able to either grip and then switch around but just being able to set you up. We're going to do our 60 second warm up with a 15 second rest and we'll do our three rounds of 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off. We're going to do the first round with our limbs extended, then we'll do with our limbs pulled in, and then we'll finish with our super slow set. 10 seconds till we start. Go ahead and find yourself ready. And we will begin in four, three, two, jogging place, go. <sighs> go ahead and tune into your breath. And switch the taps. Remember, we want something that's going to be immovable. We're the one that's doing any of the moving. We're going to be exerting a lot of force onto it, so you don't want to use something that could fall over. Ready, hops, go. And we'll be going to our gathers in two and go. <laughs> uh. Maybe throw a little twist in there. Three, two, one, and rest. So again, we got 13 seconds until we start. And we're going to start off, I'm going to use my right hand first. You want to really set up and try to drop your weight low. You don't want to be leaning. We start off about 50 to 60 percent and go ahead lean into it and then as you start to really pull your shoulder into your back then you can start putting a little bit more effort into it switching in two one switch sides again Line your feet if you can, you can pivot it up. Thinking about pulling it onto your back, keeping your shoulder down. Keep it going, keep it going. Two, one, relax. Shake it out. Oh, so simple and so good. Again, this always makes me feel like a, maybe it's because every time I recently played a God of War, like you're doing these big movements. This is working on our big pulling. Um, everything from like if you're pulling a rope or uh, even working into pull-ups. And we'll especially hit those later on. So last round we did out. This round we're going to do real close. You want to have it almost like pulled in. Go ahead and set up on the first side. We're going in five. Four, three, two, one, and pull. You can even press your legs up against it, maybe. Big thing you don't want to have is your shoulder caving down, and we're trying to pull it across. Think about pulling it to your back. Or maybe step your feet if you can. Three, two, one, switch sides. Pull that in, keep that shoulder down, long inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. If you can, you can dip your hips, maybe drop your hand. Three, two, one, and release. Oh. Go ahead and maybe wiggle out those hips. Like all things, the more we drop our weight and get our, gravity, our center of gravity low to the ground, the more force we can generate. Oh. I don't know if you've ever played that game where you lock your feet up and you got your hands locked up. We're kind of practicing you for that. So this time we're going to do our super slow. So we're going to do 10 seconds in, 10 seconds out, and then we're going to switch hands 10 seconds in, 10 seconds out. 
pretty in five, four, set up good, three, two, one, nice and slow coming in. You can even switch your feet. And out. And switch. Ready. Back in. Back one, two. Oh, in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now out. Nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Oh. Go ahead and shake out those shoulders, shake out those arms. Oh, nice way to mix it up. It's almost like the opposite of the plyometrics we did a couple days ago. So a nice way to balance that out. All right, that was it. Nice and simple. Uh, like and subscribe so you can keep coming back and it really helps support us, so we appreciate it. As always, show up tomorrow and we love y'all. Keep it up.